tipsy Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she boring Love the way you twerk it, shawty Throwing money on her own I call it independent, shawty What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7. We're hitting here selecting a car because today we are going to try to run some FD laps on some of the FD circuits like Long Beach, Road Atlanta, and see if we cannot get a good, uh, good run trying to uh, practice up, trying to find out what car I want to be running in possibly ESDA this year. So trying to get some actual FD run practice in play. Trying to get my mouse out of the way to try and see if I want to be running this alpha or if I want to be running another car in ESDA this year definitely thinking about running ESDA so look forward to trying to figure out what car that I want to run right now we're in the alpha tune this tune is up if you guys want to try it it's probably the car that I'm most comfortable in right now but will it be able to do what I want it to do here no, but so far, I mean, so far it looks like it is. Ooh, as I say that, we wreck. And we're on same damage. So... Screw it, we'll just send it. Or maybe not. I probably shouldn't send it because... Um... Well, I need to make sure I have a good car to start off with, at least... We are here in the Alpha from Mayo. I don't like how, like, when you first start off, it, like, wants to, like, floor it without me even on the throttle, so. I guess it expects me to keep going, but I'm actually going to flip it around. So I do want to thank everybody who came out for the live stream earlier this week. That was uh, a lot of fun on Horizon 3. Definitely going to be doing a lot more live streaming on either Forza Mortis with 7, Horizon 3, PUBG, and all those games. So, big thank you to everybody who came out to watch it, everybody who joined in. It was a lot of fun. Got some really nice doors. Got some really awesome tandems. So, like I said, we're here to run the Long Beach section here with uh, Streets of Long Beach not too far away. You know, definitely going to be excited for the FD season to start over again. So, uh, we're going to send it and hopefully we can get a decent run here. There we go. Throw it in. Throw it in kind of early. Probably too early. Not too bad. I always flick this way too early, but this time not... Oh! As I say that, a little bit on the wall tap, but surprisingly, other than that wall tap, that was not a... Uh, completely bad run totally forgot I am on simulation right now so I'm trying to keep track of my try aware so if you guys run simulation let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys run normal simulation cosmetic whatever you guys run let me know down there I like it. I've been running simulation recently because I've been doing some racing to try to unlock some more cars and uh, you know with those uh cards you know simulation damage gives you a lot more credit and stuff like that for those bonuses all right so we're gonna try this again see if we can't get a good run in here this time the last one wasn't too too bad so I'm pretty excited with that run here we go throw it in hard on the brakes that's too much but we're gonna try and save somewhat of a run out of this Go. I always get screwed up there. I always, you know, do too much brake or too much e-brake on that hairpin. I need to figure that hairpin out, but I also need to figure this entry in. Getting on the ladder, middle part of the track, getting closer to that outside wall. Um, pretty excited about how this alpha runs. So if this alpha meets all these specs for the ESDA, which I still haven't been able to find out what specs they're going to be running. I would definitely like to run this alpha. So we're going to give this a shot here again. There we go. And third. 
Suck it in. That was probably too late. Just a tap on that wand. I couldn't see where I was going. Broke my tail light. Tapped that wall. Broke the other tail light. I mean, other than this is probably easy. And once again, I screw up on the hairpin. Oh, get wrecked. Definitely gonna need a little more practice here on Long Beach. But you know, the fact that I can somewhat get consistent lines. I just gotta work on my entry. I may have to drift this in first person because of the fact that I can't see if I'm really close to that wall as I grind my gears. If I'm really close to that wall on entry, I cannot see because the wall is still in, but it may be hard to run ESDA in first person, but let's give this a shot. Throw it in. There we go. Um, not as close to the wall as I'd like, but I mean, oh, we tapped the wall right at the end. Um, so first person drifting a little bit better, or maybe it was just a fluke. I'm gonna run this back, try this one again, and then we'll probably switch up to Road Atlanta. Uh, Road Atlanta is definitely a fun track to run. I think they're probably running Road Atlanta, I think in ESDA round one, I'm not sure though. We got yellow tires, what are our tire percentage at? Oh, we're only at 18% wear, we should be okay. We should be okay to send it one more time. As I stall the car, get wrecked. All right, here we go. Final run here, then we'll switch up to Road Atlanta. Seems like 300's a good entry point. It's totally messed up our angle. Gonna summon salvages a run though. Somewhat salvageable run. So, not too horrible. Definitely gonna get some more practice, but we're gonna switch up tracks here. Go to Road Atlanta and see how we can do on the downhill entry. And, uh,. We'll see what happens there. Road Atlanta, there we go, yep. And uh, see how this goes. See, I am running, you know, mod card, full simulation damage, rewinds off, ABS off. So I am running absolutely no assists. So that's how I will be running the cars, probably completely is no assists. Uh, maybe ABS, probably not. I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, this Alpha's definitely, uh, Definitely a really nice car, and uh, it's very stable, and not sure if I have any other cars that are just as stable, because I haven't found a really good tune. I've been trying to tune S13 to get really stable, but uh, it still kind of eludes me a little bit. So we're going to flip this car around, slowly, try and save our tires, but we got to warm them up at least. So if you guys are running FD section, what's your favorite FD section in Forza Motorsport 7? Are you guys gonna be competing in ESDA or ESDA or watching ESDA? Also let me know down. So Road Atlanta, definitely uh, have never really been good at Road Atlanta with the grip change in Forza 6 and all that when you hit into that horseshoe. So hopefully they changed it. We're probably gonna try running both uh, both versions of the track so we're gonna start up and uh we're gonna send it we're gonna try the original version and the new version so throw it in there we go that wasn't bad entry at all on the old version first my clipping points are probably horrendous and Right there is where I get screwed up because I can never link it. Definitely going to need a lot of practice if I'm going to be trying to compete the SDA. But other than that, it's not too horrible. Definitely just need to get a car that I'm really comfortable in. Um, I am kind of seeing that first person is 
little better for me drifting, but when it comes to tandems, I won't be able to see. So we're gonna send this one again. There we go. Oh, see that, I think there's a grip change level that just kind of threw me off. Picking the third, there we go. Boy, right on that and in the grass. I mean, that was not too horrible of a run. Could have been a whole lot better, but uh, it wasn't completely horrible. Now, I am curious if first person is better than third person, so we're probably gonna run this over time. Then we're gonna do a little test to see which version I drift in better. Let's do a little bit of a test. Too fast. No. All right, we, we can't end it on that. We're gonna have to try that again. We definitely can't end it on a crap run like that. If you guys have any suggestions for cars, maybe a tune that you think would work for well for me, um, I am thinking about building another S chassis and trying to get a S13 tune going, so I do like my S13s. All right, here we go. Send this again. Front clip, nailed the front clipping point. A little bit wide in there. The grip change level didn't get me this time though. I think I ran that a little bit too wide, yep. So definitely gonna need a little bit more practice, but gonna be wanting to get some of my buddies online and try and do some actual, you know, FD tandems here at Road Atlanta and such like that. So now we're gonna do a little test here. First person versus um, third person. Change this up. Change this to drift. Eight minutes. We're gonna go to Maple Valley. I think we're gonna change it to the short course. Maple Valley short. Nope. There we go. Yep, accept changes. And we're gonna drift this alpha in third person for one lap, see what kind of points we can get, and then we'll drift it in first person and see what kind of points we get and see if there's any difference at all, or maybe, you know, I'm just thinking to myself that I slide a little better in first person. Or maybe I'm crazy and maybe I'm better in third person. I don't know. Well, we're about to find that out just a little bit. Do a little test here, get a little sideways. So. We're going to do it in third person first, since we're already in third person, I believe. We should be. So we're going to rip it. Third person. Go. I was used to a car with a little more power, but had to get the feel for the super again. Go. Go. Like I said, this Alpha Tune is extremely nice. Surprised we helped that. Here we go. Try to keep all these points. Okay, so 21,000. Now we're going to rip it in first person C. see what our difference is. Trying to keep a similar speed in the entry. This car does sound sick in first person, though. I think it's easier to judge angle, but harder to judge throttle speed. And then when that happens, you have no idea where you are. But this Alpha can hold its own for sure. There we go. Okay, so maybe, maybe I wasn't crazy. Maybe first person I might be a little bit better at drifting in. 
But when it comes to tandems, first person may be a bad idea, so we're gonna switch to this view here. Since I am actually having a little bit of fun drifting first person. That pillar just gets in the way I can't see. Yo. I think it's better in first person because you can judge the angle. Ooh. I didn't realize I'm running that grass. Stay in there. Keep the points. Save that. So maybe my S13 that I've been having some fun drifting in first person may be better. Trying to just change the views while sliding. There we go. I'll put action going there. So I think I do like I do like it with the steering wheel. I know my biggest pet peeve is the fact that it only turns 90 degrees, but we're too fast for that. No! So let's switch up cars and give one last as I break my wrist, never put your hand through your steering wheel. Case in point, never put it through there because it will set her back and, you know, hit your wrist. I should know this by now, but, you know, glutton for punishment, apparently. So, we're going to go switch back to my S13 and uh, try and drift that in first person and see if we can't get some good, uh, good lines with that. Where are you? There you are, very similar paint to the other one. But now it's gray on my screen, so that'll work. All right, S13, first person. Let's uh, see what kind of drift points we can get here. Might be a little different because it's right-hand drive. There we go. Getting it though. Gonna link the whole track. Right on that grass line. Oh, I fell out of drift. I thought we were gonna link the whole track. Would have been sweet. Definitely gonna try that now. So, I do like drifting in first person. I just wish I could turn a little bit more. But, you know, we don't have that ability in Forza. Hard on the brakes, on the e-brake to get it sideways. A little clutch kick to keep it going. There we go. That was full lock. I don't know how I didn't spin out. I always cut the grass with this S13 right there. Kick it back. A little brake. Weight transfer over, sand throttle. Ah, ah, that was too much angle. Went full lock. So, this car definitely slides very well. Now, this will prove, like, I think I might actually be better drifting in first person than I am in third. So we're gonna give this a run, one final run here. And I think that'll do it here for today's episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Once again, I want to thank everybody that came out for that live stream. Definitely will be doing more live streams here in the future. It was a lot of fun to drift with some subscribers on Forza Motorsports. Or Forza Motorsports. Forza Horizon 3. I'm getting sideways. I'm not even thinking what I'm saying right now. That was a full lock snap. Take it back. Get it back. There we go. A little brake tap. Don't lose it. No handbrake there. Just brakes and weight transfer. Don't lose it. Alright, this S13 does drive really nice. But I did have fun driving it in first person. So I think we're going to finish one more lap in this front first person view. And then, uh, We'll end it there. So you guys know you can follow me on Facebook, 
Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of your found in the description box below. That's a really long entry. I didn't think we were actually going to do that. Nope. So until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out. I'm loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city And she 